And even though the enemy comes and fights and, and does some damage, he can repair it and restore it and bring forth a pleasant situation that we can give him glory and praise for just being in our lives. Let's go to Philippians, the third chapter. It's Philippians, the third chapter. Now I'm going to start at the first verse. Philippians, third chapter, first verse. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. You know, Paul had a reason to say that because Jesus had been with him and brought him through so many different things. And he, I believe he got to a place where he just rejoiced and rejoiced forevermore. And I believe that place is available to us by faith in him as he purges us and cleanses us and delivers us and brings us into deeper things that he has available for us. To write the same things to you, to me indeed, is not grievous, but for you it is safe. You know, he's letting us know that what God brought him into is available to us. Verse 2, beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of concessions. Quick, short, abrupt statements that people make and that are said to you. For we are the circumcision which worship God in spirit and in spirit and they rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. And when you start to really realize and see how detrimental the flesh is and how much you want to be delivered from all aspects of it, all works of it, because all the works of the flesh are of the enemy where all the works and all the fruits of the Spirit are of the Lord. And through Jesus, we have a way that we can, Jesus can destroy all the works of the flesh in our lives and fill us with all the fruits of the Spirit. And I don't know about y'all, but that's what I want. I want to be filled with his power and his goodness and his mercy and his kingdom because he made it available to us by trusting and believing in him. Though I, verse 4, though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinks that he has will more, he might trust in the flesh, I'm more. And he gives, goes on to give his credentials and what he had in the flesh. Circumcised on the eighth day, the stock of Israel, the tribe of Benjamin, the Hebrew of Hebrews, as touching the law of Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching righteousness, which is the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, I counted as a loss for Christ. Yea, doubtless I count all things but a loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb, that I might win Christ in all the things that he has in his spirit to give to each and every one of us, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, which is as filthy rags for each and every one of us and him, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, by faith, that righteousness that Abraham had, that God honored, that when he spoke to Abraham, he believed him, and it was accounted to righteousness. And as he speaks to us through his word, and we believe him, he will account that as righteousness in our eyes in his eyes because we've accepted his truth and let what the things he said be the truth in our lives. That I might know him and the, and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Not as though I had already attained Either were already perfect, but I follow after. If that I may apprehend that for which I am also, also am I apprehended of, of Christ. That I might become everything Jesus has called me to become. I believe that's what he's saying. Because we all have a calling on our lives. And as we trust in that calling, Jesus will manifest his spirit and self in our lives to bring that to pass. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, 
but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to those things which are before. You know, the Lord often talks about looking back. And he gave the example of Lot's wife and how she looked back and she was, she, he said, remember Lot's wife. You know, I don't completely fully understand why, well, I do understand why he said that because there's really nothing back there to look back for. It's nothing but sin degradation and, 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 and destruction. But the more important thing is he wants us to look forward because when we look forward, we look into the things he has for us that he wants to show us. See, we're not like lizards or frogs where we got eyes on the side of our head and we can see behind us. So we have eyes in front of us. So if we keep our eyes on Jesus and look to the things that he has for us, he will make us like him. And the good thing about Jesus is, no matter how much you want to try to relate to what's back there, Jesus can relate to it better, and he can relate to everyone else better, and he can love everyone else where we can't do that. Because the love of the flesh is only for people like them, like us. See, we're very selective about our love, but Jesus loves souls, and he's willing to tell every soul that's available what he has available for them. Brother, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth into those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I don't know what that prize is, but if God said he got something for you, I think it's going to be pretty good because all things that he has is good. So I'm going to be pressing on to see if I can get to whatever he has to, for me to get to. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. You know, all those that might be on that Route 35, I believe that God will remind you that he does have something very, very special for us if we just keep on trusting and believing in him. Brother and be ye followers together of me, and mark them which also walk as ye have us for an example. And, you know, those that continue striving and continue believing and continue trusting, the Lord will bring us into a place with him that, 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 that it will be exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask to think. And uh, I just thank God for everything that he's done for each and every one of us, how he's brought us through, all the testimonies, the songs, and everything that he has brought forth to help us, you know, get a little closer to him and get a little stronger in him. And we just ask everybody to be in prayer and thanksgiving, and uh, we, just, we just ask the Lord that he might bless us as we go into, you know, this, this season of, of what we call Christmas, and uh, which is we celebrate as Jesus' birthday and also this brand new year that we're coming in, that this might be a year that we might become stronger in his spirit and grow greater in his knowledge and receive more of his kingdom, his love, peace, and joy, that we might be a blessing unto another. Amen? Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Uh, Amen. Brother Tyrone Jr., will you close us out with a word of prayer? Father God, thank you for the message that we heard this evening. Father, I ask that you continue to keep us and bless us this, uh, this, this coming weekend and this coming year. I ask that you continue to watch over us, protect us, and keep us from things seen and unseen. Uh, these things I ask in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. 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 Praise God. I hope everybody has a good night, and we look forward to everybody getting together uh, Sunday and praising the Lord some more and giving the glory on it. Gina, Amen. you still on? You on the line, Gina? Amen. Gina. Gina. Yes. Hi, Gina. Yes. 
You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a call in a few minutes after service, okay?